Hi, I'm Raymond Morgan with I Help To. Today we're visiting with Dr. Paris Kidd. He is the author of P.S. Nature's Brain Booster, and I'm going to try to say P.S. Dr. Kidd, welcome. It's phosphatidyl serine, right? Absolutely correct, Raymond. Okay, thank you, Dr. Kidd. Um, but you say in, in your book that the brain is like a gas-guzzling organ. How much energy does the brain need to be productive? Well, Raina, it's really quite amazing because we don't think about it this way, but the brain at rest uses about 20% of all the energy that the body makes. When we're concentrating, when we're going through the course of a work day, uh, we're using up to 60% of all the energy that we can generate in the 60 body. Sixty percent of all the energy in the body goes to the brain. And this is why people like myself mm -hmm. and yourself are so tired at the end of the day because we've been using our brains. <laughs> and yeah. it's it sort of goes against our instinctual feeling, right? We usually think that people who are doing manual labor are going to be more tired. True. But actually the brain is, is burning up that much energy, well more than half of all the energy we make. And, and that's because uh, the, the cells in the brain are the most energy intensive. They're the largest cells. Mm -hmm. uh, they need a lot of blood sugar to function. They okay. need a lot of other cofactors, and they're just burning up a lot of energy. All right, so how does PS, phosphatidylserine, <laughs> how does that figure into the energy production of the brain? Well, Raina, uh, we have little uh, compartments within mm -hmm. our cells, little subcells, if you like, little energy factories called mitochondria. And this is where the energy currency of the body is produced. Okay. Uh, a small molecule called ATP. And in order for mm -hmm. the mitochondria to do that, they have to have a supply of PS. That's PS what PS goes comes in? PS goes into the mitochondria and is converted to other substances that then facilitate the production of energy. So it really is a brain booster? It really is literally a brain booster and we can do energy scans in the brain that actually okay. show this. Uh, so literally, energetically, it's a brain booster. And then it's a brain booster in terms of the way the brain can generate electrical signals and mm -hmm. transmit those signals and PS also facilitates the actions of the chemical transmitters that carry information as well. So this is a, a it's molecule very complex. that's, yes. it, it's, a, it's a, a, a relatively simple molecule as biological molecules go and yet it has so many different mechanisms of action that boost our brain function. So is PS a brain nutrient? PS is a brain nutrient. It's also a body nutrient. It's a nutrient that's found in all living things all the way down to the simplest bacteria. It's a fundamental nutrient for life. That's why I call it an orthomolecule. Orthomolecule, because it's a molecule for life? That's what that means? Yes. In, in the definition of the late Professor Linus Pauling, mm -hmm. it's a molecule orthodox to the body. That means that it's intrinsic to our functioning it's part of our fundamental life processes. And this makes it very useful clinically and also very safe to take because it's been around in living things for the last four and a half billion years or so, depending on how the experts may feel. So why are we necessarily depleted of it or is it something that's age related? We're actually not depleted of PS. Even as we get older, the ratios of PS in our cells stay constant, but I believe that what may be happening is that mm, okay. when we don't have more PS to go around, then we can't make new circuits and we can't make new connections. So as we lose our existing connections, we're not able to replace them as well. That's what I think the key is. We're not really deficient in PS, but the more PS we have, the more adaptable sure. the brain can be. Okay, well, thank you, Dr. Kidd. That was very informative. We'll come back and visit with Dr. Kidd again. You're very welcome.